hey royalty hey i'm friends hey i'm princess how are y'all doing today this video is going to be for sagittarius sun moon rising venus and north node if you are new here welcome thank you so much for joining me on my channel don't forget to subscribe like share and comment first things first i only have one youtube page one instagram page it's at mecca dreams don't get scammed okay you can only book a personal reading with me using my website which will be listed down below in the description box let's begin angels ancestors spirit guides of the highest white light please come down and protect me please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine archangel michael holy spirit please come down and protect me guide me and keep me safe and please come down and just check and cover the viewers that have clicked on this video today what are the messages today for sagittarius sun moon rising venus and north north what does sagittarius need to know please and thank you Sagittarius. Okay, so I think it's a theme, okay, for the fire signs. Either y'all traveling, okay, you take it how it resonates. Paradise, Paradise Island, okay, that's different. I'm here in Paradise Island for y'all. So y'all could be going to an island, y'all could be traveling, or y'all could just be in the energy of like feeling like you are in peace, paradise, bliss, happiness. You're getting your way. Your manifestations are coming towards you, I'm seeing here. This is you feeling like full. You feeling whole, you could be meeting someone that's like you're meeting the one y'all are feeling like, you know, one whole person is meeting another whole person. It's not like a half broken person is meeting another broken, half broken. No, no, no. You are working on yourself. Okay. One, four, four, as I said, this It's like a healed person is meeting another healed person. It's coming together into a beautiful bliss, a beautiful union. It's going to feel like paradise. It's giving to you traveling with someone specific. Okay. Oh yeah. Something ended in your life. Wow. There was an ending here. Scorpio energy, there, there's a relationship that doesn't deserve no more second chances. I don't know if you, you know, are thinking about being with someone else, you know, connecting with someone, you know, reconciling it with somebody. Mm -mm. It's like an intuition. Your spirit guides are saying, don't let somebody come back into your energy field. Don't let somebody come back into your life. A relationship is done. It needs to stay closed off. It needs to stay done. Yeah, they go paradise again. Listen, okay, don't be trying to bring somebody to paradise with you either, Sag. It isn't your birthday. It isn't even your time yet. Okay, depending on when you watch this reading, because my messages are timeless, but it ain't your month, month yet. We're in the month of September. <laughs> so it's, I'm not picking up on like birthday energy, but I'm definitely picking up on like, yeah, this come wanted to come out in the reverse. Somebody here is having a hard time moving away from me because they feel like, or you could be having a hard time moving away from somebody. You feel like you need closure from this person, or you feel like you didn't get the closure that you need to move on from an individual. You could making it, you could be making it difficult or somebody here feels like, you know, it's difficult to leave you alone. Something about you, Sag. Yeah. Somebody here feels like you have unconditional love. You're very caring. You're very kind. But at this time, it's all about you focusing on you and you healing your heart. Okay, it's like you're literally entering a chapter of your life where things are going to be coming towards you effortlessly. This is money. This is prosperity. This is new beginnings. This is new connections. It's like paradise. Okay, and it's like Father God is saying, listen, stay on this path. Don't stray. Okay, if you stray, you delay. It be delays. Okay, <laughs> you stray, it's going to be a delay. Yeah, it's something about you receiving unconditional love at this time because this is the energy that you are in. Okay, this is you receiving what you, you know, embody, the energy that you you give out to others. Yeah, the five of cups wanted to flip, so somebody's in regret. They feel like they messed up. They feel like they, oh, somebody here mm, could have been like a, a jack. Hit the road, jack. Don't you come back no more. Somebody was a jack of all trades, I'm hearing. They could do like no wrong in your eyes, or they could just, they could have been the type of person, or this could be y'all, vice versa. Or this could have been the type of person that was very skilled at different things. I'm hearing Jack. Somebody's name could be Jack. It could start with a J. Okay. You could have kicked this person out and now they want to come back towards you. But somebody is in depression. They're remorse. They're sad. Five of cups. They're crying over things they feel like they cannot change. They can't go back in time. And this is somebody that wishes that they could. They wish that they can go back to rectify things. They don't know how to do it. And they're deep in their emotions and their feelings. Yeah, because the cycle is over. The world is here. Cycle is done. This is Scorpio, um, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. Okay, something has wrapped up. Something is done. Something is no more. Somebody here knows this. You completed a cycle. You learned certain specific lessons in your past chapter. 
that is now being able to push you forward towards new. There it goes again. Scorpio energy. Something is over. Oh, man, y'all. Like, I don't know if y'all can see it. <laughs> Ooh, my nose is itching, y'all. I don't know. Something is done. It needs to be a change, a transformation. Yeah, something, something new. It's time to choose someone new. Something new. The lovers is here. Something to do with your love, your emotions, your feelings. You have an option to love. You realizing your worth. You realizing that you can choose someone else. You realizing that you do deserve better, okay? There are, There is better for you with the lover's car being here, but something is over. This is a soulmate energy, too. It's even, even been like a soul bond here that needed to come to an end. I'm picking up on some of y'all could have did like a soul cutting cord ritual thing. I don't, I'm hearing it, okay? I'm, I'm hearing that. Some of y'all could have like done something to like break a cord. Y'all could have paid for like a, a ritual service to be done because y'all wanted to break free from somebody. I could have felt like y'all had a strong cord with somebody. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen this twice like that, especially I'm hearing that, but that's only for some of y'all. But I do see here, like there's an ending to definitely a soulmate relationship or connection because it wasn't bringing you no type of happiness. The Ten of Cups, it was false. It was an illusion. Somebody here was putting you in illusion, making you believe that you could have happiness with them, making you believe that you could have the Ten of Cups with them. And it was nothing but a burden, stress, conflict, strife, Ten of Wands, pressure. Something was putting you to your breaking point. This is an unrequited love. This could be fighting over family, fighting over kids, you know, fighting over stability. There was a lack of love, lack of stability, lack of trust here, fighting over the house, the Ten of Cups. No emotional happiness, no satisfaction. Somebody here was just putting on a show because the way that it looked, it may have looked good. Y'all may have looked like the, the perfect classic family unit. But somebody here was like, okay, let's let's keep it together because it looks good. But it got to the point where it was to the point where it was a breaking point. Ten of wands. When something gets to the ten, it's like it's time to mm -mm, let it go. Yeah, judgment. It's like you call judgment on this situation here because you were confused about what to do or somebody here was literally keeping you in a state of confusion, illusion, not being able to see the truth of a situation. Yeah, you're finally getting out of your head with the nine of swords. So you're not stressed out any longer. You're having better sleep. I'm seeing here. So it's like your confidence is up now with the queen of wands. You're feeling better about yourself. You're feeling sexy. You're getting your sex appeal back. Yeah, what is this? The Ten of Pentacles it has to do with your family, your inheritance, your money, your wealth, your lineage, your bloodline. Yeah, there you go, Sash. Somebody here wanted you to make careless decisions. They also mm -mm. they wanted you to it's like squabble your money away too, your assets. Yeah, somebody here wanted to try to fight you over your money. They wanted to like put drama in regards to things that are rightfully yours. You're, you're not stressed out about this. Like somebody here really tried to have like a a strong hold on your mindset, on your energy, on your willpower, on what direction you went towards, what decisions you go towards. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords, you're not dealing with that no longer. It's like you spoke out, you got some type of clarity. God gave you the insight, put you up on game so that you were able to make the right decisions to free yourself from this toxic situation. They even could have been with family. Somebody was trying to fight you for your money, for your inheritance. They could have been trying to keep your kids from you. Yeah, everything is fine though. Father God is making sure that you are protected and you're covered. I'm sorry, guys. That card flew so far away. Yeah, somebody here wanted you to be careless. Literally, so that they can come behind you and pick up behind you, pick up the pieces, pick up what you like wasn't realizing that you were leaving behind. Somebody here was trying to steal from you. What's the Knight of Wands? They wanted you to act childish, immature, careless, be very emotion, emotional, being your feelings. Somebody here like also wanted you to be very sexual based as well. Yeah, this is what they were hopeful about. It seems, yeah, but everything is fine. It's like something came to an abrupt ending or shift. I'm saying here, but yeah, you were guided away from this. You were guided away so that you can, yeah. It's like you were guided away, I'm seeing here. You were guided away so that you can reach like your stability, your security. You can get closer to God with the higher font. This could have taken a long period of time with the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Because you could have been married. Somebody here could have been married or they could have been trying to coerce you to get married. You could have been in some type of partnership with them. It could have been contracts. 
Okay, somebody here could be in a very high place of power, society, even police, government official with the higher thought I'm picking up on somebody that was you guys could have been very nervous of or scared of because they had high ranking. Yeah, with the four swords, you were very nervous. You have to build up your confidence in regards to doing this. What's the higher font? Yeah, it could even be a Cancer or a Taurus, an Aquarius or a Leo. Virgo energy is here too. Yeah, you, yeah. Like Father God said, it's okay to move forward. It's okay to go towards your happiness. It's okay to go to pursue this. It's okay. Okay, it's like something about you being isolated or having to keep to yourself or having to keep things hidden. It's because... You would have felt like somebody was overly watching you, overly investigating you. They are. They're trying to figure out what your next moves are. So you were keeping things to yourself. I'm seeing here, yeah, because they wanted to betray you. They wanted things to come to an end. Somebody who was watching, hopeful that you were going to like crash out, crash out and burn. You weren't going to be able to move forward towards any type of peace. But that's what's happening with you. Yeah, you have the page of wands. So you are taking action towards peace. Somebody here is realizing that or they, they're having a hard time like seeing that. But the Ten of Swords, they wanted you to be like burned out. They wanted you to feel like betrayed, backstabbed. Like you can't get up past this that they wanted to put you in. This misery, this trauma. Yeah, but you're healing yourself, Sagittarius. You took action to heal. You took action to get back into your energy. And that's putting you at a place of power. It's putting you at a place of being on top. Victory, recognition, rewards, accolades. Something is not for me to say this. Okay, that you're a winner, that you're a victor. Yeah, you're manifesting happiness in better days, and it's coming with the Three of Wands. With the Three of Wands. Yeah, this is also new collaborations coming in that's going to bring you a lot of fulfillment. You're about to get a lot of info, downloads, messages that's going to help you with the Eight of Wands. You could be studying in regards to books. I'm hearing books, magazines. Okay, you could be like doing like online things online purchases you could be buying online like studies or materials i don't know why i'm picking up on that with the eight of wands but it's like you're studying you have the six of pentacles okay you're also like giving to people around you okay you're more if you're, you could be like a caregiver you're just very fruitful you're very abundant you know people know that they can rely on you with the six of pentacles okay you're giving back. I, I see you giving back, and it's because you're at a place where you can where you can. You can do so with the nine of pentacles. Very financially stable, very financially abundant. You're a boss. You could be a business owner. You're just not with the games with the nine of pentacles. This is a lot of wealth around you that you are accruing by yourself. And people are very upset and angry about this. With the four of cups, they feel rejected. They feel like, how could you do this? How can you stand on your own two feet? Yeah, you dropped people with the three of cups. You let friendships go. This could be with friendships, you know, close connections, even with like certain family members that you felt like were phony or fake or just not to be trusted. Okay, that could have been using you negatively and really playing on your emotions with the three of cups. You could have let this go. Yeah, you weren't happy with it. And it's like they weren't happy with how things were going as well. At one point in time, they could have had control over you with this three of cups. But in the reverse, yeah, you got rid of that. You dropped that. It was like that was exposed. They did not expect that to happen, that you were going to expose them for who they truly are. Or, God, or they didn't expect God to expose them and the connection to you so that you can make the right decision. Sagittarius, somebody here is in denial. They did not see this coming. The tower, yeah. You could be very close to Father God. You could even be a reader. You could have got a reading done. Or these people are trying to get readings done on you from your past. They're trying to figure out what's happening with you because they don't know. They just know that they are experiencing towers for being in your energy. And it's putting them in a place of discontentment, unhappiness. Okay, that is the truth. That's just what it is. Right now, they're trying to manifest you to come back towards them, and you could be at a no. You could just be, like, really closed off, really into your own energy, really in your own energy field, even cleansing your space. But it's something about you speaking out, you getting the clarity that you need, something about books as well, magazines, downloads, audio books, something about online. It's like something that you're doing online. You could be downloading something online that's helping you, protecting you, or it's like something that you're listening to. It's the truth. It's like God is guiding you towards clarity that you need, and it's bringing in a tower. It's bringing in a major change. Whatever you are doing, it's bringing in an altering change to people. They don't like the way you're moving right now, okay? Even something traumatic could have happened out of nowhere, which could have put you back on track. 
Okay, something, it was like you got an epiphany about people with the three of cups or something was exposed about somebody and they just cannot believe it. They are like, how do you know? Okay, it's like Father God made sure that you that you got the truth. Because somebody here did not, it's like they they were really good at covering up. I'm, yeah, with the sun too being here. Somebody who was really good at like covering up. They could even be trying to cover up different things about, oh, they were, mm. Ooh, but they're not a cups about different lovers that they're that they like giving to as well or going towards. Oh, yeah. Continue to focus on you because you are sunlight. <laughs> you are sunlight, Sagittarius. You are beautiful. You are handsome. You are vivacious. Okay. You could be, you know, in the, in a place of your life where you your confidence is exuding. Your light is bringing in, you know, harmony, bliss, new beginnings is bringing in your manifestations at a very rapid rate because of the energy that you are choosing to vibe in. I'm seeing here, yeah, people are losing their mind over you at this time. They don't understand how you're doing it. Yeah, these people are surrounded by dark energy and demons. It could definitely be a Pisces. Yeah, take a trip or vacation I'm seeing here. Be mindful of people coming back towards you because they're desperate. They want to be all up in your business and they feel like you are thinking of a master plan. These gave me people thinking of a master plan on trying to get back into your good graces. You need to tell these people no. Okay? Yeah. You need to tell these energy vampires no. Okay? It's a no. It's a no. It's a no. No. Yeah. These people are done for good. Leave them alone. Leave them where they at because you're on your way to becoming a millionaire or a billionaire. Sag, it's yours. Okay, yeah, somebody here cheated on you. They're trying to come back, but it was it was a choice, yeah. Not a mistake. Mm -mm. Cheating is a choice, yeah. Somebody here is like, now is it only about the money? Because you could be like, okay, I'm only caring about my security. My sister, if it, You got to match me. Okay, if I'm bringing this to the table, you got to bring that to the table. Six, five, four, as I was saying this. Like, somebody here is, like, worried about what they have now because you could be very much worried about what you are bringing, what you, you know, how you feel about yourself, you know, the things that matter to you, your security, your stability, your assets, your business, things that you work very hard for, things that you are able to treat yourself with. Yeah, people is like, is it only about that? For some of y'all, it could really be about that. And that's okay. And it's because, you know, somebody here could have made you feel less than to the point where you grind it out. Okay, with the is it only about the money. Yeah, somebody's like, is it only about the money with you now because you changed up? These people are going to prison or jail or they're locked up in their own prison. They could have put themselves in their own mental prison. They could even be in spiritual jail as above, so below. So the things that they touch or they're working on is going to fall apart because they are locked up spiritually. They have to get right with God first. Okay, and by doing wrong by different people, especially themselves and you, it's, it's not working for them. Yeah. Continue to focus on you. Don't let these people try to change up something that you know to be a fact because you didn't imagine something that happened to you. Somebody here is trying to make you seem like you're crazy. You're not. Your ancestors are about to take somebody out that keeps messing with you as well as Sagittarius. Okay, somebody got you messed up. I hope this helped you. May peace and blessings be to you always. And I will be seeing you on the next video. Sending you an abundance of peace, love, and light. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all.